Welcome back to Euro and Arc. Today we're talking about rocket stoves, cooking with fire, some of the pros and cons of different types of rocket stoves. Right here we're looking at the Gruger rocket stove. This is one that you can purchase online, pick up from um, the manufacturer. It's an all steel rocket stove, really durable. It's very nice because of the durability. You can drop it or tip it over, it's not going to break. It's got a four inch intake, which you can see where the, the wood is going in, and then the four inch exhaust coming out the top. It's only about a six inch chimney coming up so you don't get it as complete of a burn. You have to tin this one quite a bit because it is smaller. As rocket stoves, the air intake is underneath where the wood goes in. That platform there keeps it. You set the pan here on top. The little rods hold the pan up and the smoke comes out underneath the pan. It's a good little stove, a little smaller not as many things that you can do with it. The next step up, we have an angle feed rocket stove here. This one has a larger chimney on it, so you get a little hotter burn on it, not as much smoke. You got a six inch pipe here. If you open that up, that's where the, the wood intake is, and there's an air slot underneath the wood. So when you close that door off, the air still goes in, but the, and the wood only burns down in the burn chamber. There's also an air intake here on the bottom, so you get a lot of airflow through there, which gives you a cleaner burn at the top. See the flames coming out and hitting the bottom of that pan. This thing will cook as good as a camp chef on high, brings these larger pans to a boil for your canning uh, needs that way. But the drawback is that the smoke is still in your eyes. The next one up we have here is a pressure cooker sitting on top of this. This is like a stove, rocket stove, with a chimney. So the chimney pulls the smoke out of your eyes and gives you that cook space. It's a six inch square tube. So you only have six inches of cooking surface here on the top. Again, can't do too big of a pan on this one. There's a lot of heat dispersed here in the top. But it is running this smaller pressure cooker, bringing that up to pressure, so that's good. The drawback to this one is you do need the chimney for it to work, and uh, it's pretty heavy. Without the chimney, this one will not work though. Then down over here we have the four-in-one. I've got the larger pressure cooker running on this one, and again, it's got a chimney coming off of the back. Smokes up out of your eyes. We've got the wood intake right here in the front. This is also your air intake. You don't get any smoke coming out of here, and then. There's also some air intakes that I just poked a little stick underneath that bottom rim there. And the air is also flowing in underneath. You can see how hot that fire is burning in there. And then how clean. You can't see any smoke coming out of that. So it's a very efficient clean burn. Gets the smoke out of your eyes. There's also other applications with this. There's a skillet top, a grill top and then another cooktop that can go with this 4-in-1 rocket stove. I'm going to do a video just on this. But this is an idea, you can get an idea of the different rocket stove types, different ways of building them, applications. Rocket stoves all take a little bit of work. Yeah, as we've been talking, the flames have died down on this one. So again, it's only been three and a half minutes and I have to come back and feed that again. So you have to tend them. This one you have to tend more. This one has kind of a self-feeding with that angle, they will kind of feed in there. You have to check that one every 10 or 15 minutes. Same with this one, you kind of stuff that full and have to check it every 15 minutes. Have to make the balance of putting enough wood in to keep your temperatures up, but you don't want to stuff it full and then have a spike with temperature and die down. So you just want to keep smaller constant fires going in these. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. And the next e video that we're going to do is on the four in one rocket stove there and all the applications with thought I'd come back and show you the top of this one as an afterthought here without the pan on it just so you can get an idea of what's really going on here without having the distraction of the pan